Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I built a little bit of a smaller home and hey, I didn't, <laughs> I just almost forgot that I didn't build in Solani. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me because I had to force myself not to go to Solani again. I don't know if you actually, are you bored of the Solani builds already and the Solani content or island living content? Um, because I asked on Twitter a few days ago, maybe it was already possibly a week ago. <laughs> And most people said they weren't, but I feel like a lot of times people that follow me on Twitter aren't the people that are subscribed to me or watch my YouTube videos. Does that make sense? So maybe um, you guys are really sick of <laughs> seeing everyone do stuff with Island Living. So let me know if I'm allowed to. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but let me know if um, you mind that I built in Solani quite a lot or that I did build. I feel like I only did three builds didn't I I only yeah I think I only did three builds in Sulani but I did a few cast videos that have been island living inspired I guess you could say so I just wanted to move out and do something else and oh boy it was a struggle I actually before recording this I started building a whole other house and I got done with the exterior you know I was really happy with it it's a bit of a larger family home I would say and I used red on the outside and I was so excited but I just, was just I was just happy about myself okay because <laughs> if you watch my speed balls I usually use gray brown and blue I guess on the outside I, f I don't know if I actually ever used a different co what and white obviously but I don't know if I actually ever used a different color on the outside so I was like you need to use some different colors Cora so I made this house with like um, those really nice red accents and I was really happy with it and I was like oh it looks really cute from the outside you know after I thought I couldn't build well it took me quite a while to get there you know I kind of I feel like I built three houses before that and just scrapped them and bulldozed everything because I was like I can't do it <laughs> this is not Solani <laughs> I feel like I struggled so much building in Solani the first few times but now off camera obviously you didn't see see my bad builds in Solani <laughs> but I feel like I got used to that style there you know the little bit of a boho a bit more laid back you know the, the landscaping wasn't a big deal there I feel like it was really easy to landscape there um, I, I just really enjoy building in Solani and then I had to come back to these more traditional family houses and I was like yikes how do you how to house <laughs> that was my question literally all day yesterday I was like what do I build what am I gonna do I don't know how to build I need help <laughs> and then this house was actually I was really proud of myself like I said from the outside I was like oh come on Cora this ain't bad you know it looks quite cute with a little little bit of landscaping and stuff so um, I usually do my floor plans. I did with this build as well, I believe. I do the floor plans off camera because uh, they're a bit... I'm not the best at floor planning anyways, but with that build yesterday, it was just... Oh. Uh, I almost wanted, I was just ready to throw my PC out of the window, not even kidding. I could not figure out the floor plan because as soon as you build two-story houses and you need to put stairs in, my whole floor plans are just screwed. I'm like, this doesn't make sense. How to, st I guess it's because I never lived in houses with stairs. I don't know, but then the places I lived in that had stairs were kind of bigger <laughs> because I already think I built a big house and then I'm like, oh, this ain't really that big, but and it had a decent, the house that I built yesterday had a decent size, but for some reason I could not figure out where to put the stairs and then the floor plan was all weird and I think I got back to it this morning and asked Melinda as well, I was like, Melinda, uh, what? <laughs> and then I feel like I have it very similar to what I did yesterday, but just, I screwed, that was like my first plan how I have it now, I feel like it's really similar to the first floor plan I had that I just scrapped because I was like, ah, no, this is bad. <laughs> well, it's, it's actually pretty okay <laughs> pretty decent and then um, I started building the smaller house because I was like you know what maybe I'll just do something small again go back to the roots because if you know me I used to do more smaller builds uh, even unintentionally like I tried to build something and it just turned out small like there was just <laughs> I was always like okay I'm just gonna make a normal one sim home you know but then I always turn out not having a lot of space for the living area and I don't, I don't know but I went on to this and I had a lot of fun and then 
I went on to a different build. I don't know why. I feel like I couldn't, I wasn't really in the mood to build this anymore. <laughs> so I got back to it this morning, but I was really, uh, it's so much fun to build because it's very different to what I usually do. It's very cluttered up. I mean, a lot of my houses are quite cluttered up, but not to this extent. I was like, I want it to look really lived in. I feel like the person that lives here has a lot of character. You know, I think they're a quite quirky sim. I don't know if it's a woman or a man or maybe two people because there is room for two people. You're gonna be surprised because the bedroom looks like <laughs> it's so small and it doesn't look like it's functioning but I actually did my homework and I did play test it. Yay for me. <laughs> I'm patting my own back <laughs> because I usually don't play test my houses because I don't play in them but then again I feel like if others play in it I should play test it just to make sure that the things that should be functioning, uh, functional are functional. I tried the kitchen as well. They can actually cook on that little um, counter space that is just going around the corner, that bit next, right next to the fridge. They can actually cook on that, which is really cool. I didn't know that. I knew they could cook in the corner pieces, but not in the uh, smaller corner bitty pieces, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And then I actually fit in an office space as well, which I was really surprised I could. And then I was like, you know what? I want this person to own a cat. That's why I put a lot of cat decoration, I guess, in. And I managed to fit a cat, like a big scratching tree into the bedroom because I was like, if you have cats, they need that. Like, unless they can obviously go outside, but I don't know if that person will let their cat outside. I wouldn't if I would live right next to that street, but hey, <laughs> maybe it's a very smart cat. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's like, I feel like the cat deserves a cat tree. So you'll see me move a few things around in the bedroom just to be able to fit the cat scratching tree thing in. I don't know if that's functional because I didn't have a cat with me. And since you can't play cats on dogs in The Sims 4, it's kind of hard to make them try out stuff, I guess. I would have had to wait around quite a lot and mm, not gonna happen, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you can always find my builds if you want to download this because I think it turned out quite cute. And I feel like I might move one of my Sims in this apartment one day if I ever get back to not living in Solani with my Sims. <laughs> Um, I guess I will, yeah, it's re it's really nice, it's just cute. And I was gonna say something, but now I forgot because I'm very <laughs> confused today. Hey, what's new? <laughs> Nothing really. Um, but what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something about cats. Uh, you remind me, okay, thanks. <laughs> and then I put these postcards up on the wall above the office space and I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like. It's, I don't know, I, I see people use those postcards quite a lot and I honestly just forget to use them even though they're pretty perfect to fill up wall space, especially in offices and stuff. But I, yeah, I just put them on the wall and I was like, this is actually kind of cute. And then I ended up doing something a little bit interesting in the bedroom with those shelves as well, because I don't know, I was feeling creative. <laughs> I just tried out a lot of new things in this build, I guess, which, is what I love smaller builds for because this still took me one and a half to two hours. I don't really know how long it took me to figure out the floor plan and everything that I did off camera, but I'd say around two-ish hours, which is not very short for a small build like that. I feel like other people would get done faster with this, but I'm very indecisive. And with this build, I was very indecisive. And <laughs> yeah, I didn't always know what to put where, and I didn't want to cut out anything. Like this is my whole process. And ah, I just remembered what I wanted to say. Hey, <laughs> this voiceover is all over the place today. <laughs> my apologies. I wanted to say that if you want to download one of my houses and play in them, that they're always available in the gallery. And my gallery ID is the Sympanions, all one word. I don't know. Can you have the, like a space in between words on the gallery? I don't believe so. Um, yeah, it's all one word or under the hashtag the companions. You can always find it there as well. I put that information down in the description as well if you want to just copy and paste. Um, and yeah, they're usually always up there once I've finished building them. So if you want to get a little preview of what's going to be up on the channel next, uh, you can always check the gallery and maybe you get uh, I was gonna say you get lucky, but is that really lucky to see a build before the speed build? I, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, I don't know, I feel like this house is just turned out really cute and like I said, very different to what I usually build. 
Um, I just used a lot of pastel colors, which I had on my list actually. I have this little list of video ideas that I would like to do someday or that I look at if I don't have an idea what to build. And I actually had like a pastel apartment, which I still want to do at some point. <laughs> um, so I guess this is kind of half ticked that idea because it is mostly pastel and like the bathroom is very different to what I do with that crazy um, that crazy tile on the on the wall they're super crazy usually I can't use them but in this apartment I was like you know what I'm gonna make it work because I like them but I just don't know how to make them work <laughs> and then I kept most of the outside um, in as well I just cut out the end where I went around and put a little bit of terrain paint in because come on do you really want to see that I don't think so <laughs> so I cut that out and then I ended up putting an outside bin out there as well and obviously a mailbox which you will see in the thumbnail and um yeah I didn't do a tour for this one because it's just so small I can't well I could do tours but I don't know if you will see everything so let me know if you want me to do tours for my smaller builds or if you're fine with screenshots because honestly I feel like screenshots might be a bit better to actually see what's going on in such a cramped small space if you get me. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in Monday's video. Bye!